Welcome back. So glad that you joined me today. You know, what is it that we base our lives on today? That sounds like a very strange question, doesn't it? But it's a question that we need to stop and not just think, but listen and ponder on. You know, so often as we're going through life now, we're basing what we're doing, what we're saying, how we're living on fear, on fear of what may happen in society in just a moment with whether it's the violence, whether it's virus, or maybe it's a type of prejudice that we feel that we're going through or some of our family members or friends or whoever is going through. Now, as we look at our history, a lot of times decisions that we've made or decisions that others have made have been made because of the subject of fear. Now, right now is the time to stop, to relook and re-examine everything and anything that we're doing so that we know truly why we're doing it, what we're basing our decisions on, and how we're going forward. You know, God continues to call us, Genesis to Revelation, not to fear, to remember who He is and what He's doing in and through our lives. But it's important that we're not just remembering how He's working in and through our lives, but ultimately how He's working through history itself. With everything that's happened in the last many months, so often it can be very easy to forget how God is leading in our present history. As we remember our past, we remember how he, we remember and we see how he's working now and ultimately how he's going to continue to work in the future. By forgetting what has happened, we forget that God is going to continue to lead. Now, this is why, as I've been reminded many times, both now and in the past, as we're driving our vehicles, this is why we're given such a huge windshield, but a, such a small rearview mirror, reminding ourselves that the past is small and behind us, but the future is immense, but, and so is the present. Let us continue to focus on that fact, and the fact that God's promises stay sure. Because he said that he will be with us, he will be with us. We have nothing to fear lest we forget how he has led us, not just in our past dealings, but in our current dealings as well. Today's scripture that we're looking at is a very important one to this. Is found in Psalms chapter 27 and verse 1, and it says this, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amazing promise, isn't it? Right there, remembering the very fact, first of all, that God is our light. It doesn't matter where we go. It doesn't matter if it seems to be the darkest of situations. When the very light itself comes in, darkness has to flee. God promises that he is right by our side, seeing us through. But not just that. He is our eternal stronghold. He is our eternal salvation. We have nothing to fear because he's the one that's already paid the price and is going to see us through both now and through the ceaseless ages of eternity. But I love how this verse ends, reminding us the very fact that He is where we've placed our hope in. He is our strong refuge. He is our strong fortress. How David puts it here, He is our stronghold. He's a place that even if evil tries to attack, we will be safe. But even more than that, because of everything that has already been stated, what is there that I should be afraid of? God himself promises 
that he is with us continually. He's guiding us, he's seeing us through, and he continues to love us no matter what. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope that you remember that fact, that God is with us no matter what. Look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.